Tonight, we do have some new information on a lawsuit from back in January where three residents were suing the city of Buffalo for not fluoridating the water since way back in 2015. Now that lawsuit has been dropped, but a new one with the exact same goals has been created by the same law firm. Two on your sides, Danielle Church is here to tell us why. Danielle? Mary Alice Scott, the first reason is when the first suit was filed, the lawyers didn't file a notice of claim, a legal document required in New York State when you sue a local government to avoid issues. They are not going to serve the first suit and have filed the new one. Plus, there's a lot more plaintiffs. Lipsitz Green Chimay Cambria is the law firm now representing eight families, about 26 plaintiffs who are suing the city for not using fluoride in the water. We heard some really incredible things, some like truly um, damning things and you know things that made us really worried and we thought that those stories should be told as part of this lawsuit. Robert Corp is the attorney representing the plaintiffs. Just like the previous lawsuit, the now more than 60 page document alleges the city of Buffalo violated residents constitutional right to have a healthy environment under the state's Green Amendment by depriving them of fluoridated water. The lawsuit would require the city to resume adding fluoride, create free dental clinics to remedy damage done, and pay all city residents more than $160 million. Our sincere belief is that everyone who's lived in the city of Buffalo at any point since June of 2015 through now um, and continuing has, has been harmed by the lack of fluoride in the water. A city spokesperson previously told Two on Your Side fluoride stopped being added to the water eight years ago so the Water Authority could upgrade the system. It was supposed to automatically add fluoride instead of manually. Then the city started having concerns over lead contamination, had it tested for years, and never added the fluoride back. The city notified residents through annual water reports, but Corp says it was buried. Byron Brown didn't know there was no fluoride in the water. Common Council didn't know there was any fluoride in the water. You can check the public record about that. City officials tell me it'll be added back by the end of the year, but don't have an exact date. Corp says residents deserve a more clear answer. I think that there's clamoring from the community for some clarity on when the fluoride will resume and honestly what, what the delay has been, but most importantly, a commitment to a certain date, hopefully sometime very soon. And a city spokesperson told me they couldn't comment on the pending litigation. I also asked why it would take until the end of the year to add the fluoride back, but I'm still waiting for an answer on that. In the studio, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.